everyone, welcome back to Weekly Incheon. These are our main headlines for the week. Three councils of the capital area promised to support the Asian Games. A memorial ceremony for the 19th of April Revolution was held on the 19th at Incheon City Hall. Incheon Food Safety Information Centre opened its door on the 19th of April at the Culture and Arts Centre station. This is our first piece of news. The 2014 Asian Games has already been one of the issues that civic organizations are paying the most attention to. For instance, whether or not there will be a successful opening. Recently, the city councils of Seoul and Gyeonggi-do made an agreement with Incheon that they will be providing support to the event. With the 2014 opening ahead, the Incheon Asian Games Organizing Committee has devoted itself to all the preparation work, such as announcing the mascot and the poster. Although there has been doubt whether the city can financially host the event, Incheon has a strong will towards making it happen. Meanwhile, Incheon is receiving the attention for having Seoul City and Gyeonggi Provincial Council to support the event. On the 15th of April, in the government office building, Incheon City Council Chairman Kim Ki-shin met Seoul City Council Chairman Ho kwang tae and Gyeonggi-do Council Chairman Ho jae an to conclude an agreement on unifying resources to support the Games, including publicity activities, stadiums, accommodations and other amenities will be provided to use during the duration of the Games. The three city councils agree that they should be cooperating to hold the event like a pan-national event, even though it is to be hosted by Incheon. According to a person concerned, the cooperation of the three councils of the capital area has great meaning, and there is a need to carefully review governmental resources, such as expanding funding for the event. The 19th of April Revolution, which fought against autocracy for liberal democracy, just marked its 51st anniversary. A related event was being held on the 19th at the Council Chamber of Incheon City Hall. For the anniversary day of the 19th of April Revolution, in which people of our nation fought with their own hands to protect democracy, the city held a memorial event for the first time in the Council Chamber of the City Hall. During the event, in which Mayor Song Yong Kil and more than 200 citizens and persons of national merit attended, related videos were being shown to reminisce the day. To give encouragement to the people who fought to protect democracy, care packages were also being delivered to the persons of national merit and the remaining families of those who sacrificed. <laughs> Mayor Song Yong Kil emphasized in the event that without those who sacrifice to protect democracy, we will not be here today. The Incheon City Choir was being invited to the event to perform songs such as the 19th of April song and the Korean Rose Bay. The event was carried out as a session to remind us about the importance of democracy. How much do you want to know about food safety and nutrition? Incheon City opened a food safety information center for citizens to obtain more information regarding our food. For citizens to obtain food information at a glance, the food safety information center opened its door on the 19th of April at the Culture and Art Center station. The Food Safety Information Center was firstly established in 2009 to provide citizens with food safety enhancement and to help preventing food accidents. It is being moved and expanded to the Culture and Arts Center station this April to give citizens more information and it is also planning to organize more programs for citizens to participate. 요즘 식품 안전 및 영양 관리의 중요성이 점차 증대되고 있지만 그와 관련된 지식들은 아직 잘 알려지지 않은 상태인데요. 이번 기회를 통해서 앞으로 시민들에게 많은 정보들이 전달됐으면 좋겠습니다. There are 10 exhibition halls, including the nutrition counseling hall, in which body composition is being measured to provide personal nutrition counseling and the Hall of Color Food, in which functions and appearances of food by color is being displayed. The center is planning on running educational programs and group visits in the future, 
by accepting applications from organizations that require food safety information, such as nurseries and kindergartens. This is the end of our broadcast for the week. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.